Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to another video of Dr. Zakir Naik uh, where a sister asked a question that my father is a Muslim and my mom is a Christian but my mom tell me that uh, whenever a person enters into the hen he will marry with the 72 holes. So what about the woman? How she will get uh, uh, 72 males or something else? Watch this video and this interesting conversation between Dr. Zakir Naik and sister. Hi, my name is Munira. And I was born from different nationalities and religion. My mom was Christian and my father was Muslim. But my father wasn't there near me when I needed to learn Islam. So my mom made me Christian. She taught me what she could. But I still don't know what to choose. My father is Muslim and I have to be a Muslim. But no one is forcing me. I just want to know about a Muslim. Sister asked a question that a father was a Muslim. Do you have a question, sister? My mother says that in heaven, uh, by Muslim, uh, men get 72 go women. Good. Uh, hur. But in hur. <laughs> but uh, in, in Christian, we go to heaven with our family. And I want to know what kind of heaven in Muslim for women. Sister said that the father was a Muslim, mother is a Christian, that the mother brought you up, correct? Yeah. So do you interact with the father or don't you interact with the father? Do you interact with the to father? To my or mother. No? So you live with your mother, not with the father? No. The sister said father is a Muslim, mother is a Christian, but mother has brought her up. She lived more with the mother and mother made her a Christian. So now she's confused. Mother said that Muslims go to heaven, then they get 72 poor, 72 women, the men. What will the women get? And yes. if, so as far as the first question, your second question I'll answer first and then come back to your first question. As far as the question is concerned, that if the men go to heaven, they'll get 72 poor, that beautiful woman, what will the woman get? The same question was asked to Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be with her, who is the wife of the Prophet. So the wife of the Prophet replied that the woman will get that which your heart hasn't desired, what your eyes hasn't seen, what your ear hasn't heard about. That means, inshallah, you will get something equal. What your heart hasn't desired, what your eyes hasn't seen, what your ear hasn't heard. So inshallah, if you go to heaven, you will get something good, which inshallah, you'll be satisfied. But the question is, first you have to enter heaven. If you don't enter heaven, you won't get that something which is good. And the criteria, what you are saying, that your mother is a Christian, father is a Muslim, you are confused. My formula which I gave to the brother earlier, it's even applicable to you. At least follow what is common in both the religion. What is common in both the scriptures, the Quran and the Bible, at least follow that. Nowhere does the Bible say that Jesus is God. Sister, do you believe Jesus is God? No. Very good. Because nowhere does the Bible say there's not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says worship me. What we believe, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So you have to believe in Jesus Christ, but we believe he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. Bible says that God is one. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, it says, Shema Israel that dear O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned about the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The prophecy of Muhammad is also mentioned in the Old Testament as well as New Testament. Time will not permit me to give all the details. I'll only give you the references. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, about the coming of Muhammad In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, Prophet Muhammad is mentioned by name, peace be upon him. He's even prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse number 26. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. 
in many places. I'll just give you one reference. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14 says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. This prophecy refers to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Further, if you read the Bible and the Quran, Quran says, don't have alcohol, chapter 5, verse number 90. Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse number 1, and the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse number 18, don't have alcohol. Quran says, don't have pork. Surah Bakra chapter 2, verse 173. Surah Maitha chapter 5, verse number 3. Surah Anam chapter 6, verse 145. Surah Nail chapter 16, verse number 115. Four places. Bible says in three places don't have pork. In the book of Leviticus chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse number 2 to 5. Don't have pork. So if you want to be a good Christian and a good Muslim, believe in one God, believe he has got no image, he has got no idol, believe in last and final messenger prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't have alcohol, don't have pork, don't gamble. Quran says about hijab in Surah Nur chapter 24 verse number 30 and verse number 31 that women should be dressed up with modesty. Same thing in the Bible, book of Deuteronomy chapter number 22 verse number 5. The woman should not wear clothes that would pertinent to a man and a man should not wear women's clothes. It's mentioned in the first Timothy chapter number 2 verse number 9 that women should be dressed up with sobriety, with shamefacedness. They should not have costly array and braided hair of gold. It's mentioned in the first Corinthian, chapter number 11, verse number 5 and 6. The woman that uncovers the head, she dishonors the head, her head should be shaved off. Bible is more strict than the Quran. Nowhere does the Quran say that the woman who does not cover her head should be shaved off. It's mentioned in the Bible, 1 Corinthians, chapter number 11, verse 5 to 6, that woman that prays to the Lord and does not cover her head, her head should be shaved off. So if you want to be a good Christian and a good Muslim, wear the hijab. If you have seen the photograph of Mother Mary, have you seen the photograph of Mother Mary? Sister, have you seen the photograph of Mother Mary? No. You haven't seen the photograph of Mother Mary? Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I saw her. Didn't your mother show you? Yes. MashaAllah. Do you know she's completely covered? Her complete body is covered except the face and the hands up to the wrist. Yes. So you also wear the same clothes, sister. Wear the clothes of Mother Mary, you'll be a good Christian as well as a good Muslim. So there's no confusion. At least what is common, you follow. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth will come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now Prophet Muhammad has already come. Peace be upon him. To him was revealed the Quran. You read the Quran and the authentic hadith of the last and final messenger, you will be a very good Christian and a very good Muslim also, sister. Sister, do you believe that there is one God? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah, so at least you agree with the basic principles of Islam. So would you like to say the Shahada? Would you like to enter into the fold of Islam? I still have to think. No, if you believe there's one God, if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, if you believe Jesus is not God, you can enter. Other things you can clarify. Enter into the school, then you may learn more things. But if you're 100% sure there's one God, if you're 100% sure Jesus is not God, peace be upon him. If you're 100% sure that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, this is the basic requirement for you to become a Muslim. And then later on, you can do hijab, you can start offering salah, slowly, slowly. But if you believe in these two things, that there's no God but Allah, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, these two things are minimum required for you to become a Muslim. So that you can please your father also and please your mother also. Don't you want to please your father and mother both? Yes. So if you believe that there's only one God, and you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, so why don't you want to enter the fold of Islam? Because I don't know much of it. Fine. When you enter school, you don't know what is taught in standard 10. Do you know? Yes or no? When yeah. you enter school, when you go to nursery, 
you learn more. As long as you agree, okay, fine. Now, when you enter school, you agree to follow the timetable of the school, you agree to follow the basic rules, and then you start learning more and more. So here, if you agree with the basic rules, that there's one God, Jesus is not God, he's the messenger of God, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, these are the basic requirements. Later on, as you keep on getting more and more knowledge, your practice will keep on increasing, you will become a good Christian as well as a good Muslim. It will take time. But the basic things, if you know well, I feel you should enter the fold, and then God will help you to follow more. Okay. Sister, do you want to accept Islam? Not right now. Fine, inshallah, go home, think about it, and get convinced. Once you're convinced, enter fast. You don't know how long will you live. It's better late than never. And you don't know how long you're going to live, so my request to you is that go home, do more research, study more, and as soon as you're convinced, you come to the fold of Islam so that you go to paradise, you go to heaven. Otherwise, you don't go to heaven. Hope that answers the question. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video till the last minute. Uh, they are asking the question uh, regarding uh, the paradise. Uh, my dear brother and sister, the uh, compatibility for entering to the paradise, you must have to uh, complete faith on Almighty Allah. The first step is Iman. Whenever you have complete Iman and you have complete faith on Almighty Allah and you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one, and from the core of your heart, you accept that Almighty Allah is one. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the last and final prophet. Then your criteria for entering to the paradise will be eligible. Otherwise, if you are a non-Muslim, if you are a Jew, if you are ex-Muslim, if you are a Christian, if you are Hindu, if you are from any other religion except Islam, you will not be entered uh, into the paradise because you are not eligible for that. So whenever you are uneligible for something, you are completely banned from paradise. Now regarding to her question, she asking that my mom is a Christian and my father is a Muslim. Uh, so whom I want to follow? Uh, so Dr. Raghunath asked that uh, you believe that Jesus is God? So she said no. You believe that uh, Jesus is not God? Yes, Jesus is the messenger. She said yes. But she is uh, not uh, really in mood of to send Shahada in front of the, uh, of the people. That why Dr. Zakarnai gave him that you should watch my previous videos. And whenever you make your mindset, then you should come and you will uh, recite the Shahada. So um, she asking the question that uh, uh, whenever a uh, Muslim enter into the paradise, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him 72 votes. So what about the female when they enter into the heaven? So how, uh, what will be her condition? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I will give him the nema that even the eyes were not seen, the ear before ear I had not hear and uh, the eyes were not seen. Those name I will give to the people. Now, uh, my dear brother and sister, the question that uh, what will be happen to the woman? So uh, the woman, if she is loyal to her husband, so she will be the queen of those four. This is very good point for them because in this world, whenever a female led a life with her husband with complete loyalty, she will be regarded with the heaven, with the paradise. And she will be the king and she will be the queen. She will be the queen of complete food in the paradise and uh, they will be live very happily. So uh, if you are thinking the question that how many hoods uh, you will get in the Jannah, so Al Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that uh, in the paradise, a very small paradise, if a very uh, very innocent Muslim, a very small percentage of uh, Muslim, if he enter to the heaven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him the 72 hordes. Uh, if you are a very, uh, you know, if your statement of Iman is very high and uh, if your uh, taqwa is very high, so you will be rewarded more and more. There will be a lot of nema in the Jannah that even our ear does not hear before it and our eye does not uh, see before it and our mind does not think before it. These kind of nema they are waiting for you but the cr criteria is very easy and very common. You have to complete faith on Almighty Allah and you have to follow your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Otherwise nothing will be save you from entering to the hell except your Iman.
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the teaching of Islam and with the Iman. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a successful life in this world and the day after and the day of Qiyamah. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.